The banished are bringing out the big guns, ravaging and devastating even for the sake of nonsensical chaos and dominance. What better way to do so than with something that shreds with ease? From Mega Constructs Halo, this is the Infinite Chopper Takedown. It's been a while, hasn't it? I mean, the last Brood Chopper we ever got was the Brood Chopper Raid in 2016, but the previous ones did a good job. I'm not sure how you would change it anyways, except for the sake of simply changing something. However, with the Banished taking control, of course we need a rad, pointy bike for a Brute to drive. But before we talk about the set, the package deserves a mention. Rather than tearing a flap, just cut the tape and simply open it like a pizza box. I love it. If a businessman came to my door wanting my attention, have this as a Brute briefcase, I'd even invite him in for cake. Keep it up, Mega Constructs, you get a golden sticker. Fair warning, there's about three main bags when you open it, and the contents seem so small. I had flashbacks of older sets missing a ton of pieces, but nope, on mine, everything seemed to be there. For the UNSC, the set comes with a firing turret. It's a bit bulky, but I've grown to like it, and its purpose is to house and launch a missile. I find the placement of the stand weird, though, going all the way back with this rod filling this cavity. You can put it in the other holes as long as you don't push out the launcher inside. It's just something for the UNSE to defend itself. Rotates freely, you got not only one, but two spare projectiles, and while I think Fred would prefer his signature weapon, he could still mend the turret. Oh yeah, speaking of him, correct me if I'm wrong, but is this the first sign regarding Fred's connection with Halo Infinite? I mean, this could just be for the toy's sake, yet I can't help but be impressed, even if Fred's a little more colorful than I remember. Not only is the name written on the box and description, but he's using the same sculpt the character used from the booster frame, that being the UNSC Spartan Centurion, and even the number matches. Ah, it's good to see a familiar fit uh, helmet. No paint on the knives? That's unfortunate. Dark gray undersuit with matching paint highlights, gold visor, and this pearl light cyan armor that probably seems a bit too saturated for him. Well, at least we now have a proper blue member in blue team. A big name Spartan needs to combat a big name villain. So this set comes with S S S S S as Cargo, the same brute that was seen in the early trailers for Halo Infinite. You know, the one that graced us with Craig. Estrogen's armor is interesting. There's a lot of dark gray with red markings, making him seem pretty serious and powerful. He reuses a lot of parts from the other brutes, as to be expected, but his chest is very unique. Not only with the silver blades protruding from the front, but it's a rare case of a brute armor splitting from the torso. There's one thing that kind of ruins Elephant, and I get it, is the shoulders clash against the chest beams. He does have a head sculpt for his own that still has the hole on top, but it can properly use helmets. There's a beard and light brown paint apps that are tricky to see, but I guess the eventual Halo Heroes figure will solve that issue. Both figures get tan base plates. Fred gets a gray Spartan laser, but no effect part. Episodic gets a gravity hammer, which is fine, but with how well some others are painted, I feel this is just too plain for him. Look at how ridiculous the chopper is. I love it. The back is held up by a turbine with futuristic alien hover technology, and on the front is just a big stupid Mad Max razor sharp tire. It's amazing and completely fitting for the brutes, especially in the Banished. First, I need to bring up the pins, because apparently that's important. Two of these are similar, one in black and one in gray. Disregarding the spares, the gray is a friction peg used to hold the back end in place. The black one is frictionless, used for the tire. Not only do the wheels spin, because of course, but the whole midsection also turns. The back relies on two clear bricks to prop up, but I think it's an odd choice to use blue. I mean, it's a nice color, but why? Why not use clear? At least it doesn't wobble like the Banshee. Anyone else miss the paint on the turbines? The gray paint they used to use would bring this piece to life. I do like the brown seat, adjustable foot pedals, and check out those spikes, reusing an old piece but giving it a different shape, opening the middle by printing over a clear piece. Brilliant! The details are fine, there's a printed console, you could take it off and use it as a speeder bike, but while the figure sits in, it could really use adjustable handles, especially with the bulky brute. But how about a Spartan? I have the power of God and anime on my side! 
Now how do you drive this thing? Let's talk about the front, the main event it seems, because how can you make a chopper without the signature overcompensating wheel? This is actually a new mold this time with the little spikes for the banished style. It's interesting how it's designed. These aren't the same wheel parts from any of the old choppers, and with the grooves around the peg hole, they actually fit together with the left and right part that you need to watch out for in the instructions. Sadly, this means they don't spin separately for those easy turns, but it means there's a certain order to those spikes. I do love the printed parts, these triangle tires, warthog hood slopes, that weird part that's usually over a windshield, and the return of the orbital banshee blades with silver. No launching projectiles, but the ghost gunners return moving up and down. I do feel it's pretty lacking, especially for something on the banished side. There's a decent shape, and for the infinite sets, they seem to have more simplistic elements compared to the Halo Wars 2 sets. But shouldn't the chopper seem more jagged and dangerous? Some of it seems to come off unfinished, like underneath has five pegs for nothing. It also uses large parts, including these long bridge style parts. Maybe it's that the one before seemed more involved? Sure, the frame won't break off midway, but it seemed too easy, simple, and makes for a boring build. There's a little give to open it up so the wheels can shift out of place, and those spikes that are probably meant to keep it stable, once turned, break off easily, and they are a pain to get back on. I do like the swooping form, and of course, we need something big to combat Fred and his laser. Just compared to the one before, it seems more of a downgrade. It's fine in the legacy of choppers, and with other banished sets, it fits in well. I'm excited to see the chopper make a return, not only after all these years, but with the banished element, it gives more of a reason to buy it. However, it's hard to be thrilled when I still feel they nailed the previous. I like it regardless, and I'd say check it out. Get to the chopper, Estrum! Wait, did I actually pronounce it correctly?